Can people talk to each other without using words? Can they express feelings without voices? This program says they can. The following is from NIT, National Instructional Television. Could you tell what I was saying with my body? You could? What was I saying? When I did this? And this? And that? How could you tell? Because my body was telling you, wasn't it? Before you learned to use words, you did all your talking with your body. For instance, do you remember saying this? Or this? Or this? Even after you learned to talk, your body can and does say many things without your speaking words at all. Faces say a lot of things without speaking a word. What am I saying with my face? Can you make such faces? Every part of your body talks. Arms can say, I'm afraid. Or, I'm glad to see you. So glad you're here. Oh, I'm mad. I'm so tired. When you say things with your whole body, you're using many muscles. Sometimes in very, very small ways. Sometimes, in very, very large ways. Using your muscles to talk always has one thing in common. It is a combination of tension and relaxation. Can you make yourself tense all over? What is happening? Can you feel it? 
be tight, tight, your face, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, tighter, tight. Now let go, loose, loose and soft. Again, tight and loose. And again, tight and loose. Tight and loose. But you can't stay tense all the time. When you tense all the time, it doesn't feel good. It makes you angry and unhappy, and that's why people who are always tight and always tense are very often sick people. But when you're relaxed, it feels good. Life is alternating. Our heartbeat is our life. It goes bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Tight, tight rest, tight, tight rest. And you learn to hear that in your body. So you can't stay tight all the time. It hurts too much. And it feels good to be soft and loose and rest. And then you have lots of energy to use. A circle is a beautiful... Here are some children just like you, sending messages with their bodies. Do you know that people in many countries dance together by making a circle? Because you can see each other and look at each other right in each other's eyes. You right? can do many of the things you'll be seeing these children doing, sometimes with a boy or a girl next to you. Shake out your hands and warm them up. Shake, 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 shake out your whole arm. Shake out, shake out, right in the middle of the circle and shake and shake and shake and rest. All right, now we explore all the ways our hands can move. Tight. Will you join us? Stretch your hand out very wide and reach up to the sky. Reach up very high to the sky. Okay, and then let them go and drop on your knees. Okay, take one hand. First, we try one hand. Just at your hand and see what kind of a dance you can make, making very soft movements. Then with two now hands. Take two hands and make very soft movements. Your own. Can you make a dance with both your hands? Very smooth. How many different ways can you find to move them? You make a Strong. Your whole arm can make stronger what? movements. Punch! You do it. And punch! And punch! And punch! And punch! And punch. Ow. Ow! That hurts! And punch! And punch! That's it. And again. Punch! Good. And let's go. Two hands. Pound and get it all over you. Arms can work like hammers. They can pound and pound. Really, Ned? Oh, you don't smile when you're mad. Right and on the floor. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, it feels good to stop, doesn't it? Because when you're very, very tight. It makes you feel angry inside. Put your legs in and see if you can start with your hands like this. And start making your hands tight. Can you stretch feet. that tight you feeling all the way down to your toes? And everything tight and your face tight. Don't look at anybody. Tight. Everybody tight. Everybody try it tight. Ooh, and then let everything go. Oh. Go all the way down and lift. Does it feel good to go soft and loose all over? It's hard to be mad all the time, isn't it? But it's easier to be kind of, you know, soft and loose. Let's flop our arms and flop your head. Everything, flop, flop, nice and soft and flop and flop. Oh, it feels so nice. Hey, that's good. What's the swinging 
movement. You can swing gently, too. Can you say swing, swing, swing? And how does it make you feel to swing and swing? Hey, that's really beautiful. Do you like swinging up in the air high? Yeah. Do you? Isn't this like a good swinging feeling? Put your hands down here do and do it forward and back. Swing and swing and swing. And swing, say it with me. Swing and swing. And it feels so good to swing down, because your whole body's in rhythm. Up and down and up and down and rest. Can you just slide down and rest a minute? Oh, very good. Now let's choose a partner. You ready? All right, now I, I'm going to do your head very gently. How do you feel when someone touches you very softly? Is he telling you something? That he likes you? How does it feel when you touch your friend? We play a game that I call the trust game. We choose partners, and each partner takes turns at leading the other partner. It feels exciting to relax enough to trust another person to be in charge of the way you move. Does it feel heavy? Yeah. I trust you because you're very gentle and firm. And when you are, people like to let you touch them. It's another way of saying, I am your friend because you are really allowing somebody to move you. from touching somebody's hands. No words. We move each other with our hands. You can make. Very nice sometimes going forwards and backwards. Backwards. That's it. Our partner is telling us what to do next with his body. Your partner knows you're listening for the message. If you listen with your fingers, you can hear what your partner is telling you. This kind of listening you can do in pairs or in a circle. Put your feet up out of the way. And we're going to touch lightly, okay? And close eyes. And we're going to sing a little, huh? Just hum. Can you reach out and touch the fingers of the person next to you? Everybody can do it too. Produced by the Northern Virginia Educational Television Association. Ripples was created by a consortium of 12 educational agencies in association with NIT, National Instructional Television.